I now have a story from America Magazine that I'm not really holding in my hands. I just like crinkling paper in front of microphones. Uh, this story, uh, America Magazine is a, a Catholic, well, it's a Jesuit uh, journal. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the jo- you heard the joke there, Jonathan. Anyway, uh, but, uh, America occasionally the knife has is quick. Uh, America occasionally has some very good articles, and uh, this article was particularly good. Uh, written by Stephanie Slade and released yesterday. Why is the ACLU targeting Catholic hospitals? And the article goes on to talk about a number of lawsuits that the ACLU is filing against Catholic hospitals throughout the country. Why are they doing this? Well, there are a number of communities where the Catholic hospital is kind of the only major hospital within a 35 to 45 minute drive. Okay. So the primary care provider. Right. So the ACLU sort of identified about 46 Catholic hospitals that were in this sort of situation. Uh, This is... Things like Ministry St. Joseph's in Marshfield, Wisconsin, uh, which is a big hospital, 470 beds, down to little hospitals like St. Thomas More in Canyon City, Canyon City, Colorado. Excuse me. It's spelled C-A-N-Y-O-N, not Canon or Canyon, <laughs> anyway. Uh, and in a few states like Alaska and Iowa, and there are a lot of regions where the Catholic hospital is the only community hospital in the region. And what the ACLU is doing is filing lawsuits to say that these hospitals are using their, are quote, use, uh, and this is from a lawsuit from 2015 that the ACLU filed against Trinity Health System, which is a Catholic hospital chain, that they, quote, use their religious identity to discriminate against and harm women. Basically because these institutions conform to Catholic teaching on things like Let's do the drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. Contraception and abortion. And again, the, this is a this is a point that I've been just hammering on Right to Life Radio all the time. The new face of the pro-choice, the new motto of the pro-choice left is access. Abortion needs to be safe, legal, and accessible. Not safe, legal, and rare. Safe, legal, and accessible. And what the ACLU is doing is saying by not making abortion accessible... To people in these communities, you are actively harming them and depriving them of some sort of right. So you Catholic hospitals, it doesn't matter that you have, you know, uh, 2,000, you know, really 5,000-year-old religious beliefs about abortion and contraception. No, 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 no. You are harming these women in these communities that only have the one big Catholic hospital because you're not allowing them access to, quote, emergency abortion services. You are, therefore, in some way, infringing upon their civil right to have not just not just to get an abortion if they want one, but to have access to an abortion. So not only do so, it, it, these are bizarre lawsuits, and most of them have been dismissed. Uh, they're not really winning in the courts. But these are the same people. They sue to make sure that every small town has a gun shop, right? You know, because that's uh, no, that, no. But but they, that's the Second Amendment. That's a yeah. that's a constitutional right. Well, well, yeah. You need but, access to but your John, Second but, Amendment. But 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 guns are you anyway? Not <laughs> not. To, <laughs> yes, yes, Jonathan. You 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 very ably have pointed out the flaw in their reasoning. Yes, they are not suing uh, towns that don't have gun sh- gun shops, but they are suing hospitals. That don't provide abortions, and and it's a bizarre thing. I mean, not every hospital provides every service for a variety of different reasons. There are certain hospitals that, you know, don't have this certain kind of high end cardiac surgery, and this hospital doesn't have this kind of really high end neurosurgery, and this hospital doesn't have as great an orthopedic department. This hospital has a a NICU that is sort of lower capacity. Um, different hospitals. Not every hospital provides every single thing excellently. And Catholic hospitals have just sort of made a decision that, no, we're not going to do tubal ligations. We're not going to do abortions. We're not going to refer for abortions. Like, it's just, it's, this is what we believe, and we still believe we can serve people without doing these things. But keep an eye on these things, folks. The ACLU, they do these test case lawsuits in California because they know they got liberal judges, and I'm afraid what it could lead to. Anyway, that was from America Magazine. We'll have a link to it in the podcast description. 
This is Right to Late for Radio with John Girardi. Stay tuned for our final segment after the break. <laughs> 